Hi, this is uh, what you're looking at again. Um, here is my second FPS test on the poor man's chrono. Soda can, of course. Uh, if it goes to the bottom, it shoots 350 plus. If it doesn't, it shoots under. If it doesn't shoot the side of the can, I'd have to say it shoots way under 300 if it doesn't shoot to the side of the can. Okay, um, today on the TSD UMP, stick ma has a stick magazine. Um, I expect this gun to shoot at about a 325. She put a really nice stint on the bottom. Way bigger than the other gun. But we will have to see to find out. Okay. Okay, let me turn this real quick. Okay. That time we have actually punctured the bottom. But as you know, before it has to cleanly go through it, it's put a hole. So as I said, it shoots close to about a 325. I'm going to do it again to confirm. Okay. I see it has put another hole, but it has not gone in. Which means it shoots about 315, 325. Good FPS for this gun. Considering that it was only 100 bucks cheaper than the M4S systems, um, if I'd done that before, I wouldn't have gotten the S systems. But mm. all around, it's a decent gun, even though the handling is a little bit more complicated, slightly, but you know, e way easy to deal with. Okay, now we're gonna shoot through the side of the can. I'm gonna shoot through the Dr Pepper logo. Okay, um. Very nice entry wound, way bigger than the uh, S systems, hmm. and a very clean exit wound, which means, of course, as we've already confirmed with the bottom part shooting test, it shoots over 300 feet per second. Nice uh, entry wound, nice exit wound. Um, yeah, here's another shot. Now I'm going to shoot through the uh, yeah, nutrition facts label. Okay, wow, that's a perfect shot. Okay, um, went right through the line again. It leaves a nice straight line when it goes to the front. Um, let's see if I can get that there. See that nice big hole? It's probably about between my two thumbs. That's how big the hole is. Hmm. Uh, another nice exit wound, just about the same as the other one, right through the R. It's a really nice weapon. Um, I know I said this gun kind of sucks because there's problems like the magazine jamming sometimes. Like when you want to go fully automatic, you're not going to get fully automatic all the time. But you just tap on the magazine. It's a really decent weapon. I would, I would suggest it. If you can find it for 100 bucks like I did, it's uh, evike.com. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will do one more shot to confirm uh, both tests again just to make sure you know. The FPS on this gun. To the side again. Okay, another nice, nice exit wind again. And here's from the bottom. Well, okay, uh, yeah, that time the uh, bottom was actually even bigger. Still didn't go through those, so as I said before, shoots about a 325. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on this gun. That was kind of a lengthy video for FPS test, but I'm just trying to make sure they're as thorough as can be. Um, please leave your comments, and I will have the JG up one soon.